and three of these deals fell through yesterday. It was over a million dollars worth of sales. Okay, what's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here, Remax of Orange Beat, ZeroToDiamond.com, and I'm at my office today shooting this video. It's about 7.30 before everybody gets here, but I wanted to share with you guys what happened to me yesterday. Yesterday, um, of course, before I get started, I've got 34 deals under contract, and three of these deals fell through yesterday. It was over a million dollars worth of sales. One was 550, one was 485, and one was 332. So losing, well, that's that's getting close to 1.5 million in lost deals, okay? So let me tell you why this excites me. Um, losing deals is my oxygen. Um, it opens me up to do more deals. That's the way that I look at it. I also try to figure out what I did wrong, if I did anything wrong, or try to learn something from the experience. And here's another big kicker is that whatever clients those were that those deals fell through, I want to be as professional as I can be during that situation. As in, if it's a client of mine that backed out, which one of them was, I don't wanna come at him sideways. I don't wanna come at him negatively. I want to come at him as if, you know, he, he may have made the best decision for him. And that's the way I have to look at it. He made that decision for him. He thought it was the best decision for him. And that's what I should want for him. I should want him to be completely satisfied. I should want him to back out if he does not want to do the deal. I should want that for him. Now, a lot of you guys are probably saying, well, Ricky, you have 34 pending deals right now. What does it matter if you lose three? Okay, well, at the end of the day, every single deal counts, and the reason that I have 34 deals under contract is because when I had two under contract and I lost one, this is how I thought. I thought, okay, I lost one, I only have one left, now I have time to go out there and try to get five more, and five more, and five more, and five more, how can I learn something from this situation? How can I use this future time that I'm getting back? Guys, you're getting future time back that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore. It's, it's the most amazing gift that you can have is future time back that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore. So I really want to look deeply at those relationships and I want to do something to go even deeper and use the situation to go even deeper with that relationship and so that we can have an ongoing relationship for the rest of our life. My goal is to create lifelong relationships with every prospect that I can so that I can have 10 to 20 transactions through that relationship over the life of my career through repeat business, referrals, and referrals of referrals. So. Don't think a lost deal is a lost deal. A lost deal is an opportunity to go get more deals, to learn something, and to go deeper with those relationships. So I hope you guys are adopting this mindset because you're gonna lose deals all the time. And I think that it's one of the most important things for new real estate agents and just real estate agents in general because I still see veteran agents that get upset about losing deals. And in any business, I talked to a financial advisor, he had somebody take his money away from his account and do whatever happens there. He was really upset about it. So I explained to him the benefits of that and also sulking around about a lost deal only holds you back even further. So think about everything that's going on when you lose a deal. Think about the opportunities and think about how bad you're hurting your business if you sulk about it too long it's okay to be stung by it or think about it for a little bit but don't let it linger so um anyway if you guys have any questions let me know i appreciate you we'll talk to you soon